when you go to sleep at night. Faggot shit. Oh, a toy. Hey guys, my name is Haven, and uh, today we're going to learn how to install the mod tools for World at War. Now, to install the World at War mod tools, what you're going to need to do is click the mega link down below in the description. So, when you get it finally downloaded, I know it's a big file, but bear with me, this is filled with a lot of fun stuff to use. So, when you download it, you'll get a RAR file called World at War mod tools. So, when you download it, you want to open it and you'll get a folder called world at war mod tools basically the same file name as the world at war rar file so when you open it up you'll see all these folders and files now don't need to worry this is actually pretty easy to install also i like to note that these mod tools are fully updated and ready to go for you to use yourself okay so now when you have it all open and everything and ready to go what you want to do is find your world at war directory Now, I know this will be a lot different for everybody else, but for me, it is in my E drive, Steam library, Steam maps, and common. So, when you have your World at War main folder open, and you don't want to go into any of these folders at all. Now, you can see that I already have it installed, and you're thinking like, whoa, man, this is pretty easy. Yeah, you're right, it's actually pretty easy. You just want to drag and drop all these files and folders into your root of your World at War folder. Okay, so now when you have all everything moved over and all that, what you want to do is go to bin. Now this is really important and all that, and it will be a lot easier to accessing the tools and all that. So what you want to do is make a shortcut of Call of Duty World at War Radiant, which is your map designing tool for the mod tools. And then you want to make a shortcut of Launcher. These two are really important to have. Or if you want to be really clean and have your desktop a lot cleaner, you can just move Launcher to the desktop as a shortcut because it also has a shortcut within the program that will launch Radiant for you. So when you made those two shortcuts you want to go back to your root directory and then you want to make a shortcut of GCZ script placer onto your desktop. Now when you made those shortcuts for me I have the launcher, GC script and then Radiant because I am that picky and to me it just feels a lot nicer to have everything here on the desktop ready to go. So I know this episode was pretty short and I promise the next episode will be a lot longer and so if you guys want to see more of these be sure to drop a like and tell Ixino Legends you guys want to see more of these videos on his channel because then I will do my best to bring them out more often on his channel. So next episode is going to be focused on how to learn to use the camera and the other basic tools and all that and functions of Radiant and the third episode I believe will get going into making our first own little test map. So, without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to learn more about mod tools and all that, you know, stay tuned, subscribe to Xeno Legends, and I will be sure to hopefully get some more tutorials out in the new future. This is my first tutorial ever, so I'm pretty sure I'll get better down the road. And, um, yeah, guys, I will see you guys next time. Peace.